Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the SIM unlocking of a mobile device in order to be used with a different wireless carrier or network other than the one that originally sold it. By default, most mobile devices these days are going to come with some sort of lock that restricts them to only being used with the original carrier, and they have to undergo some sort of unlock process in order to be used with a different carrier or a different network. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy A12 that is originally from AT&T here in the US. And this is a device that has not yet been SIM unlocked because as we can see here with a different carrier SIM card inserted, we get this message prompting us to enter the network unlock code and telling us that your phone isn't allowed to use this SIM card. So this device happens to use an unlock code feature from AT&T, which not all of their devices do anymore. AT&T has now kind of copied T-Mobile and Metro in the fact that some uh, models are unlocked via the My Account app that comes installed on the phone, where basically the phone has to send a request to AT&T Systems to check to see if it is compatible and eligible to be unlocked or not. But this one does happen to be one of the ones that still uses a code. And AT&T, like pretty much all other carriers, will do the SIM unlock for you and give you the code if you meet all of their requirements. And therein lies the big catch, because pretty much all wireless carriers have a huge set of requirements that have to be met in order for them to do a SIM unlock for you as the customer. So they all require that you be the original owner of the device, that you have it fully paid off, and that it be out of contract, and that you not owe them any money. And they also generally require that uh, you have used it with them for a certain number of days or months, whatever the case may be. And so we've been contacted by tons of customers asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves wanted to change carriers away from AT&T before satisfying all of AT&T's requirements for them to do the SIM unlock for them, or, unfortunately, the other scenario that happens a lot these days is that someone will purchase a used device from a dishonest seller who doesn't tell them that the device is locked. The seller will either claim that it's already unlocked or that it's already eligible to be unlocked or whatever the case may be. And then after the purchase, the buyer discovers that's actually not true, the device is still locked, and it's not eligible per the carrier. And in those cases, the seller has usually long since disappeared since it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to get this device SIM unlocked without having to go directly through the carrier and meet all of the requirements. It's something that we do directly to the phone while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we just did here with this one. So actually, as I was speaking, I was running our unlock program on the phone that goes ahead and takes care of that for us. I know you saw the device restarting there, and now that it has, when we click the power button to wake it up, we can see that it loads directly to the home screen, and it is no longer asking us for that unlock code. Now, the, the SIM card that we have inserted here is just a test one. It's not actually activated on the line of service, so the device can't actually register and get signal on it, but the SIM card is inserted. So as you guys can see here, the SIM still is in there, so we didn't trick anyone by pulling it out in the middle of the process or anything like that. Um, to demonstrate exactly what we have here, just so you know, when we pop into the settings here, we can see that we do indeed have a the model number there, that the SMA125U, that is the model number of all of the US versions of the Galaxy A12, no matter which carrier it's originally from. 
So, if you have one of these Galaxy A12s from AT&T and need help getting it SIM unlocked, we would love to assist you with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we did with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin ninguna duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.